嘅比賽係男子雙打，由韓國嘅工程員柳賢星對印尼嘅馬基斯康德拉，裁判黃偉信，發球裁判葉定邦。Ladies and gentlemen, the last match is men's doubles, Korean Shun, Yu Yun Shun of Korea versus Marky Silo, Hanjo Sierra of Indonesia. Okay, Tony Wong, service judge, Chris Yip. Champion of Swiss Super Series 2010, World Ranking Number Five. Please welcome Kong Shen Yong, Yu Yong Shen of Korea. Champion of Malaysia Open Grand Prix Gold 2010, World Ranking Number Four. Please welcome Marcus Fido, Hendra Sidiara of Indonesia. <laughs> So to the men's doubles final, the fifth and final match on finals day here at the Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open, the last of the Super Series tournaments for 2010, of course 12 tournaments in the Super Series Tour, and the men's doubles, the Korean pair, the number six seeds, world ranking of five. So Hyun and Yu Yong Seong. We're looking at Yu Yong Seong at the moment. He and his partner, four finals prior to this this year, won two titles: the Swiss Super Series and also the Macau. Ko Sung Hyun from Busan in South Korea, the 23-year-old. They're up against the number two seeds from Indonesia, the reigning Olympic champions, Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan. Indonesian pair, of course, also winners recently of the Asian Games gold medal. For the Koreans, well, all of their matches in two straight games, and that includes the quarterfinal victory over Indonesian pair who put out the number one seeds Kuan Tan from Malaysia. Semi final victory over Howard Bark and Tony Gunawan in yesterday's semi final, two straight games. As we look at Marcus Kido, he and his partner both 26 years of age and actually both born within two weeks of each other. Different places in Indonesia. Marcus Kido born in Jakarta, his partner Hendra Setiawan born in Malang, East Java. Now the Indonesian pair, twice winners of this Hong Kong Open back in 2006 and 2007. Two titles this year, the Malaysian Open Grand Prix gold event as you can see, 
and also the Asian Games gold medal. Now they benefited from a walkover against their teammates in the quarter-final stage because Alvin Julianto Chandra was not feeling well but they had a superb victory yesterday against the two-time defending champions won the title for the last two years but there they are from Jason and Lee Yong Day down here not only to support their teammates but to watch and learn about the pair that have beaten them the last two occasions Kido setting one on my right, Makin Kitu and Hanja Satyawan, Indonesia. <laughs> and on my left, Boson Hong, Yu Yong Sun, Korea. <laughs> Makin Kitu to serve to Boson Hong. Lobo, play. So the reigning Olympic champions, Marcus Kido oh, and Henry Rossetti, are one. The number two seeds here in this year's Hong Kong Love. Open. Up against the number six seeds, Ko Sung Hyung and Yu Yong Siong. This is the third meeting between one, these two oh. pairs. On previous two occasions, honours are shared. The first time they met was the first ever tournament that the Koreans played, that was the Asian Badminton Championships last Two, year. A remarkable start to a partnership, first ever tournament together for the Koreans and they reached the final. But the last time these two pairs met each other was in the semi-final of the Macau Open earlier this year. Three tough games it was, but the Koreans did come through in the end. Oh, service fault called, struck above the waist. Two. Okay. Oh. Oh. Four. Two. Reigning champions, the former world champions, won the world title in Kuala Lumpur in 2007. Tell you that this Korean pair really loves to play Five, the badminton at 100 two. miles an hour. Remember watching them win the Swiss Open earlier this year. Their only Super Series title so far. Oh. When they beat the then world number Six. one pair of Kian Kiat and Tambun Hyong of Malaysia. Absolutely blasted them off court. formation as far as the Indonesians are concerned Marcus Kido smashing from the back of the court yeah, I'm not quite sure what the word is about but certainly his channel attack down the center of the court narrows the angle of reply and there's nobody better at the reading the game at the front of the court than Hendra Setiawan not only does he seem to be in the right place at the right time, but as this beautiful awareness is just demonstrated there of where the gaps are in court. Great placement. That's beautiful.
Star of the Year for this Indonesian pair. Six. Beaten in the final of the Danish Open by Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen. world ranking dropped by one place this week down to number four last week they were number three and that's due in part to the fact that the Asian Games are not included in the Brampton World Federation world ranking list so a five point advantage to the Koreans here in this opening game strong, powerful athlete.